Namaste, this is Dr. Karishma Aouja. If you have been trying to apply Ho Oponopono on a family member, maybe to change something inside your home, maybe your environment, maybe another loved one, then please, first of all, remind yourself about the philosophy of Ho Oponopono. Ho Oponopono is a problem solving technique, an ancient practice which revolves around the philosophy and the thought process that everything that is happening on the outside, including your environment and your loved ones, is a reflection of whatever is going on inside you, inside your subconscious mind, in the form of memories running on the screen of your mind. So today, if there is a problem with a loved one, you wish to heal your loved one, you wish to positively influence your loved one, please remember, before you start applying Open 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 Clinic, you must constantly remind yourself that the only way I am going to bring about a change in this person or situation is when I change myself. This means when you change your conditioning, your belief system, your feelings, your memories that are running inside your subconscious mind. This is very important to understand. Otherwise, it takes away the essence and the beauty and the simplicity of this process, which constantly says the only way to change anything is to convince your own subconscious mind to let go. You see, the reason why we feel hurt or we are disappointed in any way because of what is happening with another person or maybe a situation is because we are sharing memories with that person and that situation. That means if anything troubles me or triggers me, it has come up to give me one more chance, an opportunity to this time take responsibility to clean up my energy, to clean up my memories, to find a way to offer these memories to the divine because only the divine can purify, only the divine can erase whatever needs to be erased for my good. Now, once we start assuming responsibility and start taking up whatever situation of feeling is troubling us or triggering us with our subconscious mind, slowly as you give love to your subconscious, slowly as you continue to connect with this idea that I am responsible and I can release these memories if I offer them to the divine, if I'm willing to let them go. As you do this, slowly your connection with your subconscious mind increases. And as the connection increases, just like a child who's easily influenced by a parent because of the attachment and the love he or she has for the parent, in the same manner, my dear friends, your inner child, your subconscious mind will start to join you in the clean. Then it will start to clean even when you are sleeping all the time it's going to be cleaning it's going to become your partner in success remember whatever we want in this life it can only come if the subconscious mind cooperates with me for it if it becomes my partner in success so if today you are worried about a loved one if you want to positively influence a loved one please remember if this is about you and your inner child the correction has to take place inside, inside your consciousness, inside your soul. So try to assume responsibility by talking to your inner child, by letting your inner child know we can let this go. We can release this. We can offer this to the divine because you and I deserve to be free. If we come together, we can experience the beauty of this life. We can experience the sweetness of the blessings that the divine has chosen for us.
and then you can continue your conversation with your inner child giving it your attention and love cleaning can be as simple as saying please let go thank you for being with me thank you for listening to me thank you for joining me these beautiful and simple cleaning words like please let go thank you i love you will not only strengthen your connection with your inner child they will also help you convince this part of you called the subconscious mind to release to offer it all to the divine and the divine is going to now transmute these memories neutralize them release them all together from your consciousness and remember whatever is released is released for good so not only are you resolving problems connected to your current situation in life you are also helping yourself not experience the same problems in the future by assuming responsibility for them today ho open up no is a beautiful process it really has nothing to do with the other person it's not about really talking to another person or trying to change another person unless you are inspired to do so but first you must understand the process begins with you and this process is involving you and your subconscious mind the moment your subconscious mind starts joining you and starts releasing these memories that are causing you these triggers or problems you start to feel more peace so if you are doing ho open up no but not experiencing a sense of peace or ease in your mind and body probably you are not doing it the right manner maybe you are expecting a certain result maybe you are attached with a certain result so the solution would be just enjoy the process remind yourself if you get to a point of peace you get to a point of power in your life and from this point of power whatever needs to be corrected automatically gets corrected i hope this video inspires you to apply this beautiful ancient practice of letting go please remember it all begins with you when something on the inside changes a lot on the outside changes for you and for your loved ones it's time to give up blame and resentment it's time to stop looking at how to correct others it's time to go within clean up your energy and then take inspired action to do say or be whatever your inspiration is guiding you towards i wish you all the very best namaste if you enjoyed this video then do share it with others subscribe to this channel click the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest videos this is dr karishma auja wishing you all the very best